Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? I'm doing good. My name is Nasi Alum, graduate teaching assistant, Department of English, North Dakota State University. The name of my channel is Simple Talk. On my channel, I post Duolingo practice test. I also talk about English, how to improve English. Uh, English is not my first language. Still, I'm trying to develop myself. Thanks for your suggestions. Thanks for coming with different questions and I'm glad that I could answer many of them. If I can't, I'm sorry for that. I do my level best to help you out. So before going to my office today, I was thinking about creating a new content for you. I was wondering which I should talk about. So I, this is just a random video. You know that I don't edit too well and I don't like editing. So I'm going to randomly talk about some strategies that you might do for improving yourself. So these are the plans I had. This is my second video on the topic today. I prepared another video, but I forgot to share my video screen with you. So you could say this is going to be an updated one, but I'm not going to edit it. You will find it very soon. So I'm this time I'm sharing, hopefully. So I let's see what you can do. Let's say you have a question. The question is you see an image in your Duolingo test. And you need to describe that image in one minute or you need to write about that image in one minute so what i find i found some random images from google i wrote uh, see what i wrote there Im yeah it's there images of nature and people so what you can do you can randomly select these images and then go to your microsoft word then paste it and write about it just write about it so what do you see here if i ask you to describe this image what will you write about or what will you talk about so do it in one minute okay this is the practice you pause my video just describe this image in one minute write about this image in one minute okay i'm not gonna say anything if i say anything then you will get the uh, solution no you find your own solution but if you say, okay, no, no, say, 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 say something. Okay, let me try. I'm not a good speaker. Even I, you know that I, I'm not ready for this image. I see a couple of people trying to climb up the mountain. I also see two other random men. They are trying to help these children out. And it is almost at the end of the day. And they are enjoying their time. They are playing and they are walking. They are climbing. Um, this is their day out. They are some friends. There are some junior friends. There are some senior friends. Both of them are, all of them are on pleasure trips and they are trying to learn from nature and look at the weather. It's hot. They need some water. They don't have any drinking water at the moment. So the water, drinking water is important for our health. We need to keep drinking water. So this is how I describe this image. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't care. But that is how you improve. You just keep speaking. You don't need to worry about your grammar. Just say whatever comes to your mind. Language is all about communication. It's not only about scoring well in Duolingo and other things. Even if you score well, if you can't talk, uh, can't talk, or if you don't know how to communicate with it, people, so what's the point of communication? Now you can write about this image for one minute. What will you write about? You can write whatever you want, okay? You can also talk about your own trip that I, uh, looking at these four people, I also think about my own trip. I had a trip in Narayan Ganj. I climbed up the mountain. I don't know whether there is mountain in Narayan Ganj or not. I just talked from my mind. So this is how you can practice, okay? This is the way to finish uh, complete i mean let's say write about it in one minute speak about it in one minute so this is how you collect your topics you don't have to go to any place for collecting these topics you just need to use your creativity and you will find your topics and keep practicing them every day come on you need practice without practice you won't go anywhere even i won't go anywhere i need a lot of practice today i had a lot of assignments i prepared all of them i will do my assignments again after i complete this video and i'm doing my youtube videos and these are all our practices and i'm working every day to improve myself so you can also improve yourself everyone can isn't it so then what will i'm following other youtube channels i guess right ah, i'm speaking like them wow that's good that's a good practice <laughs> now let's talk about the five minute writings 
So these are all my own ideas. You do not have to agree with them. So I got it from this website. I randomly clicked, Googled that give me some argumentative topics. So I got it from this channel, okay, from this website. You can download it if you want to. So there you see many, many questions are here. So there are almost 200 writing prompts. So choose the best ones or whatever ones you want, choose all of them for, yeah, for, for 200 days. No, not for 200 days, for two months, write about each of these topics or write the selected ones or write at least three topics every day or five topics every day it depends on you write 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 if you want you can send your write-ups to me you know my email address it's there so you can send your write-ups i can give you feedback if i have time i'm not yeah i'm not just saying for the sake of saying yeah i want to help you out but if you need my help if you need my written feedback i i can give you some general comments just as a peer review so that's no money needed, I'm saying. So uh, th that's the point. So write about them for five minutes. Okay, that's the practice you need to do. Just choose the topic. Let's say these topics, let's say. Don't think that they are gonna come in your exam. Nothing like that. Okay, so just choose this topic, then randomly write about it for five minutes. Like our digital, Photo to photographs too plentiful to be meaningful. Yeah, digital photographs are are redone are becoming redone then at present. Yes, we are filming to a lot more than usual. For example. When I go out to observe nature, I tend to focus more on capturing, capturing the, see I'm looking at you and writing piece of nature and okay now i'm looking at it again so you, you need to write focus on capturing the beauties of nature not as a result i fail to appreciate the beauty of nature so as without filming without facebook something like that okay you write about it i'm not ready uh, but whatever came to my mind i just wrote it so i don't want to write for five minutes it's going to be boring for you so uh, i mean that's the way you keep writing keep practicing and you will improve yourself there then comes the three minute speaking part you need to speak about it for three minutes right so choose these 200 topics and speak about each of them for five minutes seven minutes now in your duolingo test you may not get these questions but whatever others could be related to these topics so if you keep practicing even if you have an uncommon question in your duolingo test you can still relate to these topics and you can at least have the confidence that yeah i could talk about these topics in my rehearsals i could write about them now i can speak about them i can write about them so that's how i think you can get better in practicing for your duolingo test and besides that always read english newspapers uh, i read this guardian newspaper i love this i will read the cricket news later on and I also read their lifestyle section. I also read other parts. So whatever makes you interested. If you like sports, read the sports news. If you like the fashion part, read the fashion news. If you like political beats, read the political news. So just follow your heart and, and also read books, ladies and gentlemen, read fiction, read nonfiction and write every day, speak every day. And also I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Nowadays I do watch less. Uh, so you can watch a lot of YouTube videos too. Uh, just I even I watch my 
fellow Duolingo competitors, not competitors, they are my gurus. They, I, I watch their videos. I learn everyone. I learn from everyone. I, that's what I do. Even I learn from small channels. I, I try to see how they perform and how, what they do and how I can learn. So I follow them as well because learning YouTube is my passion. It's not my profession, but again, I, I want to develop my skills in this new passion, I would say. So I had another plan and I would like to include it in your video, in this video. I had a plan that some of you are asking, how can I improve my grammar? How can I improve my writing? Or so I talked about improving your writing. I talked about everything, but this time I will do one practice test, Oxford practice grammar. I am telling you beforehand, I don't know the answers. I didn't look at the answers. So let us do one practice test. Okay, test. Do I have the book? Yeah. But I can't answer here, right? So let's go for the online practice test. Okay, so practice test one. I'm just doing it randomly. Type the correct answer into the box using the words below. Mary, I'm not good in grammar, but I'm just giving it a shot. Mary is the person who, I guess, who, okay, do I need to write? Who, I couldn't imagine. How I would be able to find the courage for you, yeah. then he really can't work out be uh, he he can't he really can't work out okay where he has to go the person with whom okay damn the laptop that is that is that is what I've got a week to finish this. Which, I guess, yeah. Let me check. If it's a wrong answer, slap me, okay? Well done, I scored six on six. Now, my haters will say, ah, you saw the answers first. Believe it or not, I didn't look at the answers. Even if I got zero out of six, I didn't care. Okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna do sometimes. I'm next day I'm going to solve practice exercise two, three, four, uh, sometimes something like that, and give me your suggestions. Will it be a good idea? If you think so, I will, and it's just out of fun. And you can also see your answers here after you finish answering then check your answers even if you get six on six doesn't mean that you're good in grammar nothing like that it's just fun it keeps you practicing it helps you practice okay so we will do that uh, besides dueling or practice test so thanks a lot have a good one am i following anyone i don't know but i'm just being natural i'm being happy i love you from the core of my heart keep watching my channels and keep being in touch with simple talk and i'm nasi alam graduate teaching assistant department of english non Dakota state university loves you from the core of his heart take care Mm-hmm. <laughs>